in layman's terms, the easiest way to describe a, a steward's job with an officers and sergeants' messes would be uh, the equivalent to a hotel working uh, a civilian hotel. Hello, sir, how are you? Very well, thank you. I should have a room book. Do you need an envelope? Put your room key in there and a welcome pack as well. Lovely. The room is just come up here, turn left and go down the corridor, sir, and you can't miss it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your stay. Outside the mess, you have to become your, prior, your first role would be as a soldier. So you would have to do the things you like dressing green, sweeping floors, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning a variety of different jobs in the field as well. Uh, within a mess, there are a variety of different departments you can work in. The, the main one being the dining room. And um, we kind of work a, a three shift system, so you can work uh, the main shifts are like an early shift or a breakfast shift. A day shift, which is more admin. That's correct. 60 shots. Uh huh. 1.5 litre. 1.5. Yeah. And then you would work a late shift, which is the lunch and dinner time services. In the RAF now for four years. I did my nine weeks basic training at RAF Holton, do so many things and meet so many people, it was really, really fun. So they teach you really a lot to do with your trade. You're very confident when I went to my first base, I knew everything that there was to know about it, so it's really good. Working in the bar is brilliant, you get to really socialise with all the officers or the sergeants. You can also do VIP duties, such as working at Checkers for the Prime Minister or other VIPs throughout the Air Force. When you let off at the end of the day, your time's your own, you can do with it what you want. Uh, once you've worked for a minimum period of about two years in the nest, you can then apply to go flying at RAF Verizon Norton. Um, this entails uh, cabin crew duties on the two different types of aircraft there. Play 43, please. Well, I first joined the Air Force in April 96, a few years back now. Um, I tried as a, a ground steward, went through training, and then I got posted to Linton on Ooze. After that, I decided to apply for air steward, which I put a gen app in for. And within nine months, I, um, I achieved it, went for an interview. And I was the youngest ever air steward to get through at the time. I was 18 years old. And now, this is my second tour as an air steward, both on BC-10s. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'd recommend it to anybody. Door, I'm going to try and make my way to the rear over the exit right hand side, where you're going to be, your oh, station. Sat on 14C on headset. Okay. Then we've actually got quite a, a mixture today. We've got 98 passengers to feed. In addition to that, we've got Flight Lieutenant Colbrook, who's the PRO. We'll put him in 16C. Helly, you're happy with the catering. Yeah. And have they got chicken for the They've passengers? Got chicken on the way out. We've got, um, we've got... The Battle of Britain is one of the most prestigious functions of the Air Force holds. Um, it's basically the Air Force celebrating its entirety from the Battle of Britain right through to present day. There is a lot of hype and excitement about the function. Uh, even the junior stewards enjoy the buzz that leads up to it. Uh, there's a lot of preparation goes into the function and a lot of hard work uh, and extra time. Uh, but I think afterwards everybody enjoys it. Marching the squadron standards. And the battle colours will be brought in and presented and then displayed at the top table. After they're all seated, the stewards will then come in and serve a starter followed by wine courses. This will be then be cleared and then followed by previous courses. Now this could be anything up to seven, eight courses depending on what the chef's menu has been for that function. They are long, long days and you will work hard, but you come away with a sense of pride that you've done a good job.